In modern parlance, Gomer is being sex trafficked. She's incarcerated. Hang in there with me. I promise you, I'm coming to your neighborhood. She's being sex trafficked. She's on the auction block. The going rate to emancipate a woman in Gomer's predicament was 30 shekels of silver. But verse 2, he doesn't say, I bought her for 30 shekels of silver. I bought her, watch the detail, for 15 shekels and a homer and a lethic of barley. Commentators say, the devil is in the details. The great hermeneutical question is, why doesn't he say, I bought her for 30 shekels? Why does he say, I bought her for 15 and a homer and a lethic of barley? Answer, he didn't have 30 shekels. I can see him now rummaging through his home, looking under his bed, digging between the cushions of his, of his sofa, trying to come up with, with, with all he can, going to, the, to, going to the bank account, and all he can come up with is 15 shekels, and he takes it to the auctioneer, and, and the auctioneer says, no, no, I got to have 30 shekels, and then he goes, what if I add a homer and a lethic of barley to it? He, he goes, let me check on my supervisor. Supervisor says, okay, we'll take that, watch it now, to emancipate the one who cheated on him. Cost him everything he had. And I think that's the point, friends. If you ain't paying a cost, you ain't loving. Now my flight leaves at two o'clock. I go here in love. If you say you're serious about diversity, but your institution is not making costly moves that do violence to the cultural norms, you ain't loving. If I got to beg you to put people of color on your syllabus, you ain't loving. If I got to beg you to hire people of color, you ain't loving. Love hurts. There's a cost. I cannot tell you how many times I've I've coached institutions and churches and all this other stuff. They give me a nice little check. I get on a plane, come back home. My wife checks in me. How'd it go? I'm like, well, you know, they ain't going to change because they don't have the courage to pay the cost. But this isn't a one-way street. People of color, we, 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 we got to pay the cost. And in some senses, us just showing up to work is paying a cost. Us having to endure questions about our hair. Us having to beg you to put, let's have some different worship on a day other than MLK Day. So the frustrating thing you need to understand is when on your campus you have one group paying a cost by showing up and the other group ain't paying a cost, that is a one-way oppressive relationship. 